everyone on the Beast Cinema. I have now got a HD PVR, and this is episode 3 of Potluck. Today, to celebrate me getting my HD PVR, I'm going to do 4 bronze packs, 4 silver packs, and then I'm going to open my 4 free gold packs for the month. So let's kick it off with the first pack, and it's going to be a bronze one. Who are we going to get? Come on, somebody good. Didn't see what that said. Okay, we start off with a keeper. Um, called Brocard. And the usual contracts, obviously. Not a bad pack for a bronze pack. And a centre back I didn't even realise I had. Second bronze pack. Please be better than the last. We want some more rare players. Richards. Who's that? Oh, I've never heard of him. Oh, a 79 pace striker. That's not too bad. Grella. And there's Richards. Another Canadian. Healing all. That's quite good for the second pack. Third bronze pack. Could three be the lucky number? Bula, I'm guessing he's German. And I was wrong. He's Swiss. So no shiny players in this pack, which is very annoying. You always want at least one shiny player. Badges and kits. Like an he looks like a girl. And K, an Englishman. Last bronze pack. Last bronze pack of the day. Let's make it a good one. I think it went actually too fast then. Last bronze pack of the day. Come on, is that good? Evers. Evers. Ooh. Oh, and no silver uh, shiny players. That's very annoying. Evers, not the best player. I always send... Oh, that's a nice badge. I always send all the kits and badges. That's a nice kit. I always send the kits and badges to my club. We're on to the silvers now. Nanny on the front. Come on, can we get a really good player in this? Agostini. Probably Italian. Oh, a left back. He might go for a bit, actually, uh, when I sell him. Oh, po Popon. He looks not too bad. Some contracts good. Morale. Hearts. There's the first silver pack. Second silver, and it's the sixth pack overall, so we're halfway. Still yet to have an amazing, amazing player. Boomer. A centre-back? Centre-back, yeah. Not not too shabby. Vo Varney and Dixon, the left back. Oh, Rogers! Bit of pace, some coins. That's not bad, and he's transferred as well. Get in, that's a nice player. Third silver pack, and seventh overall, I think that's Ramsey on the front, not 100% sure, but... Cecilio! Oh, is that the right back? Is that the... Oh, you bastard EA. Oh, I thought it was the Palmeiras one. This one's still pretty good, I believe he used to play for Real Madrid. A bronze, wow, that's really annoying. Squad fitness, not too bad. Quite a nice kit again. And another kit. <sighs> Last silver pack of the day. Something good. Castillo, uh, left back, I believe. Yep. Oh, he's he was transferred. I didn't realise that. Oh, and C C has had an inform, and I've got him. And a bronze Brazilian. They can sometimes go for quite a lot because there's. If they're good, because there's not many of them. Coins again. Palmeiras kit, and there's Castillo. Right, we're on to my three gold packs. Four of them. Doubt there's going to be any decent reactions, because they're always crap. And v Vukovic plays for Blackburn. Hasn't really had much game time this year. Not a brilliant pack, obviously. 
the usual. No shiny player. 4 2 3 1 might sell for a bit. Quite a nice football and some duplicates. Second, 3 1. Anything decent? Sam. Sydney Sam, hopefully. Yep, there we go. That's not, uh, he's not bad actually. He's quite a good player. Uh, Alvarez, we had him last time actually, I think. And the usual kits and duplicates. Penultimate free pack. Diego Castro. Castro. Oh, some pace. Some pace. Lucas Leva. Harnik might use him in the in the team. Oh dearie me, it's not good, is it, lads? Really. Right. Last one for this episode. A really shit player on the front, so I highly doubt we're going to get anything. But who do we get? Gabalov. Well, there we go. Just says it all, doesn't it, really? Oh. Veleron. Carlos Cuellar. Crap defender, anyway. Gabalon, there we go. A keeper. Not a bad, not a bad keeper, so he's probably going to go and goal. Um, and then healings. Ah, oh, four, five, one. All my stuff's full. No. Here we are at the game, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the team I made. As always, the link of it will be in the description, so you can view it in more detail if you really want to. So search for an opponent, and fortunately for me, I come up against someone with 64 chemistry, only three chemistry lower than myself. So I was going into this game quite confident. This guy's obviously got the general gist of Ultimate Team to build those chemistry links. He's got a bit of MLS in there, an American and uh, Brazilian. Is two stri is two strikers, Everton and uh, Anisar are so quick. It's unbelievable. Um, if we could get uh, 25 likes on this uh, video, it would be absolutely brilliant. It took me so long to uh, edit the pack opening because, obviously, as you can see, this is in this is recorded with a HD PVI. I had to um, record the audio separately, but it was still live, but I had to uh, piece it together. And, unfortunately, in this game, I have another really poor start. His ev his Everthon was so quick. It was it was really hard to deal with him, especially with my bronze centre back and Carlos Quella with only 55 pace. That bit there where my two players land on top of each other, was, I thought was just absolutely hilarious. So I thought I'd include it for you guys. Um, yeah, I try to cut in from the right left there, but couldn't quite get it. And you can just see his pace with Anasage just unbelievably quick. Ah, uh, what happens now? This is what this guy basically did um, most of the game. He just kept changing position. He went one way and then he went back the other. It was really hard to defend against. I don't hold A, so I'm like jockeying him, so I've got to kind of read his moves. But it's very hard. And this Al Alvarez has some really good free kicks for a 78 rated. And Spillane there, my bronze centre back, who couldn't quite keep up with Everthon, uh, gets his little noggin on it and puts it in the back of the net for us. Uh, brilliant. And <laughs> you see that tackle there? I, he should have got a free kick, but I did in the end. <laughs> and whipped it in. If I had known this was going to drop to someone, I would have taken a bit more time and slotted it in the bottom corner. But I just. Just put the header at right of the keeper. And my fucking defender should have... Why did he stop and he let Anasar just take it off his toes? It's so annoying. But then again, in the 90th minute, this is what I can do. Cut in from the right. Roulette. Boom. Have some of that. Yeah, shoulder dust and what, mate. But oh well. The, uh, the game unfortunately finishes 5-2. This... Guy was actually a very good player, um, even though he had crap chem, but he was a very good player, and you can see that in the stats. I think he absolutely dominated me on the possession. Yeah, it was 55% possession, he had 15 shots on 10 on target. But that's the episode 3, guys. Thanks very much, and remember, don't forget to... Great goddammit!
great comment fool and subscribe